Hello everyone, this is Rahil from cyphertech.com and this video is all about uh, building REST APIs with Node.js and Express. So first of all, let's begin what is a REST API. Um, REST APIs are basically APIs uh, which follow a particular pattern. Say suppose you have an entity as users. This would be your common noun. What can we do with these users? We can either add a user, delete a particular user, update a user, list all users, and list details of a particular user so when we follow rest patterns what we do is uh, we define a particular path or a route for the entity users and we use the verbs or the actions of the HTTP method to perform all these actions so to add a new user we use post to delete a particular user we use the delete method of HTTP update we use put to list all we use get and to list the details again we use get so this was just a basic or you will uh, get on get on with the working of it so let's get started first of all what you'll need is you'll need to have node.js installed in your machine so depending upon your uh, operating system, you will have different thing, different ways to install. I'm using Windows, and the version I'm of this I'm using, which is Node uh, six point one point zero. So this is right now the current version of Node, but it's not stable yet. But you can use any stable version. So let's get started. Uh, head over to GitHub. On this URL. Uh, this repository under my username node express app structure so this is a basic structure of an express app so what you can do is download this as zip or maybe you can clone so we'll clone right over here so now that we have a basic app structure let's look into it so here you go we have the controllers helpers logs mirrorwares models test app js etc etc so the controllers will basically contain uh, all the uh, paths or the routes. Helpers, we won't be using models, helpers, middleways, we won't be using in this tutorial. But uh, this is a standard structure model involves uh, all the database operations, middleways are express middleways. Uh, helpers contain any other useful utility functions. And our main file is app.js. So here we have a package of this uh, These are all the basic modules you will uh, regularly use, but some of them we don't need right now, so we'll just remove them out. So we don't need these. We need this. We don't need these. This cool. Let's just save it. And to install these uh, packages, we need to run npm install let's just navigate into the folder and run npm install all right so our packages are installed let's have a look at our app.js so some of the things in app.js we don't need right now just move them out Here we go. So here we are requiring Express. We are creating an Express app, initializing an Express app, and then we are using the body parser. The body parser is used for uh, reading the post uh, data sent through the APIs. And we're using uh, app JSON format uh, for our APIs. So if you notice over here, we are uh, requiring the controller. 
in an, in an express middleware so inside our controller what we have is we have two files one is index.js index.js will contain uh, paths to all the other files in this folder so we have a file name as users so what what this basically does is uh, make the paths in the user.js available after after this path so whatever put in users it would be our host slash users slash whatever inside users.js what we have in users.js is actually nothing so let me just remove it right now and and do remember this to export your router at the end else things won't work so let's get started with building our paths so what we need to do is first we need to have users so usually what will happen is you will communicate to a data store maybe mongodb or mysql but for this tutorial we'll keep it simple and we'll keep a global uh, variable and we'll uh, do reading on that so let's just declare our users So let's just add one user in it so we have our users with one user in it now what we'll do is we'll start defining the app routes router dot get and this will be our path function request response so uh, whenever we are uh, accessing a route uh, for for an entity in a rest api say, say users without the id so in that request what we do is we'll fetch all the users so if you see this is a get method on on the path users so since we aren't specifying anything ahead so it would be only host slash users will return in this case will return all the users so return rest.json all right so we have our first path we have our first route so let's get let's see if this thing is working or not so to run our uh, application we will okay so first of all what I, uh, what we need to do is we are listening on port 3000 so this is the piece of code that will start our express server just let me console right so to, to run run our app we need to do node app.js says server is running so now uh, to test our apis you'll need a rest client probably but uh, for uh, since it's a get api you can probably do it in the browser itself just fire up your browser and do localhost 3000 users here you go we have our users rested all right let's move ahead okay so now that we are done with fetching all the users let's try adding a new user so what we do is we use post method of http to add a new user so router dot
so we'll be passing the new user as the post body in the post body of the api so to read the post body in express you have the requested body variable so say if you want to check for uh, some validation say you don't want the name to be blank so what we could do is request dot body dot name and then check it in if if not request body dot name we say it's an error change this to message Oops. user name missing this is just an example to show you uh, you can do whatever variations you want obviously so now let's uh, try to add the user so what we'll do we'll need to push it into this array the new user so global dot user dot push request body Then we finally return success and error as false. So now that we are done with adding a user, let's try and test it out. For this, fire up your REST client. I'm using Postman. You can use any of your choice. First, let's let's list the user and see what we have. So here you can see we have one user. Let's try to add it. Change the method to post. Move into body. ID as two. Make sure the ID is different. As normally we won't be adding ID through the post data. Make it application JSON and that's it okay what it says is property read property of undefined let's open our console right let's check it out oh we missed out the s restart your app and try again okay success now let's see if we are successfully listing the users over here. Here you go. We have two users. Okay. Pretty easy, right? Hmm. So now that we have done with uh, listing the users and post uh, adding the users and you're getting a hang of it, let's just uh, go ahead and add all the routes that we are going to use. So to add, edit a user, we're going to use put method. We're going to use delete to delete the user, and we're going to use get get a particular user. Miss the slash. So if you see a uh, difference over here is that we are passing a parameter as user ID. So this is for basically uh, related to a particular user in the group. So if we pass the user ID 1, it will refer to look for Rahil. So to update any user, here's a piece of code that would do the trick. What we are basically doing here is we are looping through the users and we are looking for the ID passed over here. In this check. And then we are updating the name and hobby as passed. And then we are returning the message. 
then one more thing to note is that if in case the user id pass is not found in the list or not found in your database you probably would return a status of 404 not found along with your messages now next just look up for the get so get would be quite easy as well we'll again need the for loop for here over here because we are not looking up in any database querying any database so if we find this we will return the user this will pass user and again if not found you have to say 404 not found now let's just test it out restart your server So right now we have, uh, if you notice uh, the th list is refreshing because we are using a global variable and whenever you restart a node server it will get reset it to what we have defined. So let's make a get request for the user id 1. Here we go we have Rahel and if I pass in a wrong id it says 404 not found, user not found. Now I will try to update this user. I'll try to update the hobby in the name. In the body I put chain says success. Now let's try and list again. Here you go. The last thing that's left in this one is the delete. So for the delete as well, uh, we'll probably need the same pattern. So we are looking up the list and we are matching, if this matches what we probably need to do is we need to splice it from the array. Just say success and if it's not found we say not found, 404 status. Mm -hmm. Right, let's try it out. Restarting the server. First of all, listing all the users. We have it. Now, time to delete user 1. It says success. Let's try to list it. Here we go. No users. Let's try and add again. Try to list all users. Here you go. So seems pretty simple. So that's it with our REST, REST APIs. Uh, it's nothing much but it's just a pattern you need to fo follow with your REST APIs where you perform actions or, or the HTTP actions on your entities. So let's just recap of what we did. Uh, we first needed Node. Once we had Node, we cloned up the Git, Git repo. I'll put the links in the description. Uh, after that, what we did was we initialized the express app and app.js. First of all, we installed the dependencies. Then we initialized all the exp express app. Then we required the body parser. We used the JSON format. Now, if you see require.controllers, what this basically does is it requires the index.js file in this, and which in turn is uh, using the users. So if, if you have any other entities, you'll probably uh, do. Uh, say vehicles you create a new file vehicles.js and you'll add a new path in here as similar all right and in users what we did was first of all we uh, initialized a router express router which is very important then we defined all the routes on the entity user right i hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and you got to learn something from it if you got help from this video please do remember to like subscribe and share and if you need more videos like that please comment below thanks for watching see you till next time